Um, hi, how are you doing, Gemini? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, this is your daily reading for June. Um, it's getting dark outside, huh? This is your reading for June 24th. Uh, I'll start doing personal readings uh, next week. My Instagram is in the description. I hope you're having a wonderful day. These guys don't want to go on for some reason. Gemini, you get the world card. How impressive. How impressive. What's up with you? How you been feeling, man? Talk to me. How, how was your how was your day, you know? What you been going through that you're expecting in your cycles? <laughs> I don't even know how to put it. I don't even know how to put it, but hey, let's just go like that. I'm gonna just, I'm a, your reading is gonna be vast. Uh, your reading is gonna be vast. Uh, is there anything else that Gemini needs to know? What? What? Is that it? Okay. Gemini. What's up with you? What's up? Uh, for your reading, Gemini, I get the wild card, the chariot, the death card, ten of swords, three of cups, six of pentacles, the lovers, and the ace of cups in reverse. What's up? I've been telling you, your overall energy is a temperance. Uh, with the temperance, there's a need for you to balance uh, yourself out. There's a need for you to balance... Uh, to balance what you have around you there's a need for you to really balance your aroma your world your um, what you got going on for you you know in your cycle there's a huge need for you to balance that out and uh, with also the temperance there could be there, there is a situation you're in that you feel like you you stuck in it for a good time you're stuck in it for a long time you know you just you just feel like things are no longer working for you the same way they did you know things are just not really going through you things are just really it feels like things are against you feeling stabbed in the back it feels like every step you take is like a soul that's just coming through you every every way you try to be yourself you know you're just trying to do the things you've been doing and it's just like they're not walking you know there's a change that's needed with the temperance there is a huge need for you to really try things uh in a new uh try new things there's a huge need for you to experiment with things you never experimented ways you never went by things um You get the lovers and the S of Cups. I don't know. I, I, I want to I wanna focus on this for just now. The lovers and the S of Cups. There is a love opportunity that's being presented for you. But you're being asked to put it on hold. Gemini, there's a huge need for you to enjoy yourself. There is a huge need to enjoy yourself. Yes, there is a lover that's coming in your way. But rather than you rushing to commitment, it's just rushing into um, the Three of Cups and the Death God. Uh, to maybe enjoying yourself for a good moment, you know, know who's your person and know those who you want to keep around, fuck around. Sorry, I apologize for my language. But there's that energy of, for you to just um, to just enjoy yourself for a good minute, enjoy who you are. And with the lovers, you could be finding your compatible partner. But right now, for you to just chase that passion as you see it, as you be like, I see it, so I believe it. You know, I see, I think you're my person, so phew, let's get married, let's get kids together right now. No, there's a huge need for you to get to know them, enjoy who, who they are, enjoy their character, enjoy, uh, enjoy their cups, everything they bring on the table, understand them. Yes, the situation might start out as chariot, as things not really working out and just going as great as they can. It might be, you might be even getting roasted by them or just even just really feeling like things are not really moving on the state on the energy. I saw this today, thank you so much. I saw this today. Um, 
with your lovers it, you might be probably meeting your lover and uh, along the day things are not the conversation is not working out as great as as uh, is it's, um, meant to be it's not working out in your favor there's a huge need for you to, to change the setting you know Set, change where you are you know so that you can have a, a longer conversation a good conversation you know what i mean there's a huge need for you to change the element you in there's a huge need to change things you've been going through the cycles you've been just um circling around you know circles mark miller uh whatever I do I always end up at the start of the line keep that in mind if you've been doing like that that's why you fell in ten of swords yeah if you've been going through the same fucking shit again every you know getting comfortable ten of swords you're really gonna feel that shit you're really gonna feel uh, you're gonna feel stabbed in the back a bit you know and there's a huge need to really try out new elements new things new cycles um new ways of things try to be a bit open-minded also uh try to give a cup to your partner try to share what you think with your partner try to express how you feel with your partner with the world cut oh yeah for your reading you get the world card the chariot and the death card uh what this is telling me is like you're experiencing new lands new okay now i get it you're experiencing new cycles in life new territories new worlds new uh feelings new new things coming towards you however you're doing things the same way you did in the past you there's this loop that needs to be broken and uh, the what why i'm saying that is because it's chariot chariot is somebody who's moving forward yes in they might be a bit close-minded but they they have a direction they want to head in it's like you have a direction you want to move forward to however you might be a bit close-minded to new op options new opinion new um thinking new uh new ways of things you know you might be needing to uh just uh walk away from situations that no longer fulfill you so that you can think that you can chase things that benefit you you know uh you get the ten of swords uh the chariot the death card and the three of uh, cups this energy of um by you if you want me to go by normally it's uh ten of Ten of Swords, the Chariot, and the Three of Cups. Energy of you just uh, deciding to move forward as you feel this pain, as you feel a sense of loss and abandonment. There's a need for you to move forward. But the Ten of Swords, the Chariot, the Death card to the Three of Cups, there is a, a need for you to uh, move forward regardless of the pain you're feeling of what you're going through. Yes, I understand it's, it's burdening, and I understand it's kind of heavy on you, and I understand it makes you feel some type of way. However, as you move forward and walk away from situations that long fulfill you or benefit you, you're really going to enjoy this victory that's coming towards you. It could be with friends, family. There is that happiness that's taking place. Excuse me. And with the six of pentacles, it, it's a, uh, it's I feel like it's going to really by you enjoying this friend's uh, happiness, it's really going to allow you to have something to provide to other people with, uh, something to give to other people. Uh, you might be in a business, you might be a service provider, you might be uh, well equipped, you might be, uh, you might be having your own um, thing going on, and you can fully give to people without. You know taking so much from yourself you know you can really give and with the lovers i feel like you're gonna meet your partner but there is a really huge need for you not to rush and take action there's a hu really huge need for you not to just bolt in and just uh, move towards things rather uh rather take time to feel this pain rather take time to uh see these cycles um put it on hold for a minute I don't know why. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a huge need for you to spend time with your friends. You know, as your lover comes by. Uh, okay. This lover who is coming in your life, this partner who is coming in your life, they're there for you. And as these lovers come, we love to spend time with people we love, right? There is no, not right now. That's why I feel like this love situation is being pressed on hold. Because there's a situation that's calling you as of sorts. There's an opportunity that's calling you to be brave and courageous to move forward. There's an opportunity that's really calling for you to just take that leadership control of your life. 
to really take up that uh, aspect of um, I can do this with the Queen of Cups to the Ten of Cups be open to love be open to emotions you know be open to receiving and giving be open to um, letting go of your emotions that were just burdening you or just were causing people to leave you behind or look at you some type of way you know there's some behaviors we have we attach ourselves with that just don't work out for us and uh, with uh, with really the ten of uh, cups I get this energy of uh, emotional fulfillment you know you're gonna feel happy you're gonna feel uh, this abundance this sense of uh, happy together happy in the same element happy you know just around each other and um, with yeah it's also it could be with you and your lover too uh, being happy together and uh, for now there's just a need for you to be brave and be courageous towards the opportunity however right now put the love on hold you know think of how you're gonna approach this ace of souls because some opportunity some uh, passion is calling for you uh, to hate towards it to just move towards it and uh, put love on hold right now because there is a you're gonna achieve more you know there, there is a there's something you need to get before you you achieve this uh, happiness there is a pentacle you might be receiving financial wealth financial balance uh, or just even uh, uh, something you're working on that's gonna be celebrated by you and your friends but for now there is a really 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 big need for you to uh, give time to yourself friends and the things you have around you but The time you're gonna know uh, when to start giving in, the time you're gonna know where to just celebrate, the time you're gonna know where to enjoy this, it's when after you start, you, you, you feel this sense of loss and abandonment. You know, once you start, once you feel that way, that's when you're like, okay, I need to uh, get this energy out of me. I need to, you know, party a bit, and not even party, just uh, have a victory, feel a sense of victory, you know, be around friends, be around family. Be around other things because as soon as you attach yourself to love that's gonna be another soul in you that's gonna be another body for now just hold back just feel the pain embrace the pain and go celebrate with your friends and family just take off your mind of this thing that's going on and once you do that you're really gonna feel abundant yeah ah